Enjoy. Special today. 75 cents for a smoke plus a little taste of wine. Smoke going on fine. Money up, who won't pay? Uh, next time, it's on me. You know, I'm a little short. <laughs> I dig it. go out. Hey, man, what are you doing? 
chair, man. She one crazy nigga. <laughs> man is man and child is child. What are you doing, man? But I ain't gonna be a child no more. <laughs> Being broke. That's very childish. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. Man, that's got to be some mean herb. Well, you took it on. Man, uh, how I look? I look okay? Let me see. Look at me. <laughs> you look stupid. Man, walk up and down some before you go in. <laughs> Man, you're a trip. You know that? <laughs> Man, that stuff was good. Well, of course she'll be home. Where the hell else can she go? Oh, that's enough. Now, hang up that phone. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. They're coming by. To get a description. Oh, you're sick. I'm walking and they riding around like them TV cops. Car 41, where are you? Yeah, that's a damn good question. Where the hell are you? What was that police's telephone number? Now, in my dream book, the grocery store is 789. <laughs> Mama, you know you really are something. Here you are, all battered and bruised. Are you sitting here thinking about the number? Well, we may as well get something out of it. Come here, Benji. Grandma! Oh, don't be scared, son. It's all over. What happened? Boys. Dirty thugs. Wasn't enough for them just to take her pocketbook. They had to beat her up, too. And the police want a description. I'll give them one. Two young, able-bodied black boys. That's who did it. I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, Tell me why it is, by the way, that you come in here three hours late every day from school. Hey! Oh, God. Thugs. They mugged my mother. Look at her. Damn. You all right? Let me tell you something. You come in yeah. this house right after school. Do you hear me? You want to see a doctor? Do She's more upset than I am. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, what happened? Well, these two boys just grabbed me in my pocketbook and, and everything. <laughs> Sorry, Doug, Benji. Please, I tell you that. I... You sure you don't want to see a doctor? Go get washed up. It's all right. I'll be all right. What's in your box? Oh. Oh, that's just uh, my new suit. Just got it out the layaway. Yeah, let me see. Sweet's trying to drag me to some dance or something. Yeah, well, you may as well buy yourself something before they snatch your money. <laughs> oh, speaking about money. I bought and uh, sent off the uh, money order for the gas and mm. electric. And that third one there is your uh, premium on your life insurance policy. Oh, thank you. I know I better keep that paid up. Well, what do you think, huh? Well, <laughs> mark down for $300, huh? Well, yeah, that's what they say. But, uh, Mrs. Bell, you know, I want mm. you to try to stay at home. I don't want you going on the streets by yourself. I'm so glad trouble don't always last. Oh, my Lord, oh, oh my Lord. Lord. <laughs> if Rose's legal husband had only treated her half as good as you do. <clears throat> oh, uh, and that him don't go like that no how. I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, what shall I do? Oh, yeah, that, that is the way it goes, ain't it? Mm -hmm. You uh, hang this up for me, and I'll go talk to your little boy. God is still good, ain't he? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Benji. You want to play? You want to talk? Talk never hurt nobody. All right. Wild card stuff. <laughs> Remember that time when I bought us those tickets to the baseball game? Me and Jimmy Lee had us something to do. Yeah, man, you, you're always too busy to be friends, so? I just say, uh, play cards. Bet you the Silver Eagle. 
I can Tonka 21 you out of a quarter. One flip for high, card or low. Name your game, butler. Choose your weapon. Let me put a whipping on you. A good beat. All right. There's your quarter. But just leave it right there, because that's just for having a fast mouth. Now, now I'm going to show you a little game that we've, uh, that you've never played before. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, that's sweets, Rosie. My mama. And that's you, and, uh, that's the, uh... Butler's the king. No, that king is your daddy. But he split the scene, so we just put him over here. Don't nobody know that. He might be somewhere sick. Mm -mm. That's a bunch of jive, man. He is in fine good health. I mean, three years ago, he picked up his hat and just went, just left. Yeah, because that's what he wanted to do, so we'll just leave him over there. Could be. Now, in this game, there's no aces, no kings, and no numbers. This is just about two jackasses and a lady. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, you know in a uh, deck there's only one queen of clubs and one jack of clubs. So if there's going to be another jack, he's got to be an outsider, so I will be that outsider. You the outside Spain. So this game, Benji, is about two jacks getting to know each other, just facing each other. We ought to be friends. Will you just try to stand me? I'm standing you. I'm standing you every day. You and the split king, the ace and the queen. Nobody knows how hard I be trying. Oh. Enough card playing for one day. How come you got to say my father don't like me? I didn't say that. You said he's alive and well and gone and don't want to come nowhere near me. Baby, that is between him and her. It has nothing at all to do with you. Yeah, was him and her. Now it's her and you. I ain't in it. But anyhow, I'd be glad to go with you to a baseball or a movie, just as uh, one Jack to another. It's fine with me, Jack. on that drum for me. serious business <laughs> We all know that uh, George Washington was a slaveholder, but he was also first president of the United States, also the father of his country. Is that right? Oh, George was the father. He sure got around, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And Frederick Douglass. Now, he was a slave abolitionist and of a newspaper's Freedom Journal. Okay, okay, okay. Elhaj Malik, Malcolm X minister and teacher. Assassinated. Yeah, yeah, assassinated. Okay, come on, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving. Dr. William 
Edward Du Bois. American-born educator. Fought against the Jim Crow law and won. Also founder of the NAA. Intellectual. Died a citizen of Africa. Pan-Africanism. That was his bag. Okay, okay. Uh, Matt Turner. Revolutionary fighter against slavery. Self-taught scientist. Hung by the United States government. Marcus Garvey. Leader of the Back to Africa movement. Uh, what's his middle name? Uh, Mose. Some people say. Others say Manasseh or Marcus Aurelius or Marcus Moses. He was banished unlawfully from Jamaica, British West Indies. He died in London, 1940. Where you get all that, son? From reading books, off the streets. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> OK. OK. Come on, Burge, back me up. Go back. Let's take a trip now, you know. Let's take a trip. OK? American people coming from everywhere, everywhere. A smile, my brother. Smile, you come from a royal family of the big continent, Africa, the second largest continent in the whole world. Yes, land of, of birds and bees and, and bamboo trees. Good things to eat. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, and good things to eat, like yam plantain and, and rice and peas, huh? You're a young prince, man, a prince. We are all descendants of kings, kings and queens. Look at that. Ain't she something? Look at that. That's right. What's the matter, Benjamin? We came from kings and queens. That's right. How come we ain't got any kings and queens right now? Oh, boy, you're always trying to be heavier than anybody else. The history people. They did their thing, then they died, or they got run out of town, or killed. Where's the now people to do things now? We're always talking about what's been, never what is. What the people gonna do? Mm. I'll think about it. Okay, now you... Mr. Charlie, how come you give me 62 on the test? You couldn't find three more points? Damn! Because that's what you made. My name is Cohen. I resent that Mr. Charlie. Take it to the court. Fight for your civil rights like anyone else has to do. When you leave my class, you may become president. Oh. Or end in federal prison. No. Or do both. <laughs> but you will know how to read. We know how to read. Benjamin, I'd like you to read your composition, please. I don't want to read it. Read it, Benjamin. Somebody in my family by Benjamin Johnson. I can't hear you, Benjamin. Somebody in my family by Benjamin Johnson. My mother is slender, not tall or short, but in between. I don't like her temper. She smiles and says, don't do that. And she says it over and over, real cool. Then all of a sudden, she might be slamming pots of pans. She has a smooth face, smooth cheeks, and a dimple. Uh -huh. One day, my grandmother said, we got some Indian in us from way back in our family. Sure. My mother laughed, showed her dimple, and said, and a whole lot of African. <laughs> she is always kind and cool. Except when very mad. My mother is a lady. You 
get an A for that, Benjamin. You know, Benjamin, you could be a writer someday if you wanted to be. You could become somebody. Benjamin? What are you thinking? I'm somebody right now. Just hustling. Doing his thing. Yeah, I know. Let's go, man. Oh, yeah, you know, like Cohen say, someday you're going to be a big black poet. Man, I wouldn't mind reading something about Brett McCraig. Well, I could really rip him off. <laughs> I mean, but why you want to rip off your own step? I mean, you know, he's bringing you things home y'all need. Color TVs, high boxes. And bugging me with those heart to heart talks. Well, the man entitled to say something. And he says it, Jack. I'm telling you, man. See, look, I'm you my boom, so I'll tell you. I don't want, I don't want him getting too close to me, because then when he leaves, I won't miss him. Man, if a real father can cut out, what do you think a step will do? Yeah. You got a point there. Man, I promised Carl I'd meet him at that place called Tigers. You know where the action is, man. Let's go check it out. No, don't go. I mean, it might be a bad scene. Everybody's telling me what to do and how to be. Now you right along with the rest of them. All right, okay, I'm sorry. I'm your boom, remember? Boom friends help each other, right? Well, let's go to Tigers. I'm tired of being on the downer. You coming or not? Forget you. Hey, man. Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hi. Hey, Tiger. These are dudes I told you about. Jimmy Lee Green, Benji Johnson. Hey, what's happening? How y'all doing? Okay. That's me. I'm a tiger. Tiger's my name. It don't burn my fine inlay coffee table, man. Y'all make yourself at home. Get in shape. Have a ball. Tiny wine? Hell no, man. That shit will rot your stomach line. But I'll stone you to the bone. <laughs> There's hot dogs and rolls over here in the kitchen. Same price as eating at the funky golden arches, right? This is your home away from home. It's a show and fine looking place. Did y'all uh, want to buy a little something? Me and Benji might uh, split a joint, OK? Don't waste y'all's money on jive time herbs. Shit make me burn up my strawberry incense trying to keep down the smell. 
tell you something, fellas. What's happening now is a little skin pop. Two dollars. Me and Benji, we just smoke sometimes, <laughs> off and on. Yeah, he can't talk. I'd gladly take a light pop, but it only got me 75 cents. We're gonna call you chicken ass, man. Give the man a free go on the house. I'm going, Benji. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. The name of this club is Shut Your Mouth and Never Tell. Who else? You got it? He, he, he don't talk. I'm going, Benji. Yeah, we can just get the fuck out of here before I get mad. Drag, man. A natural drag. He gonna try it next time. Yeah, well, just watch who you trust from now on, Carwell, all right? Get this man a light touch. I don't want no amateurs to OD on this. Just relax. It's gonna be okay. I just wanna get a vein. So you can feel good all over. Jimmy Lee's father talk about school busing and neighborhood concepts. But I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And do you think getting after you is my favorite way to spend my time? No. I know it's not your favorite. Can I have a sandwich? We've already had supper. I'll get your sandwich, Benji. Wait a minute. And I said we already had supper. There's all kinds of opportunities for you these days. When they gonna have some for you? Yeah, well. Well, when you're getting on in age, the world just wants you to drop dead. Just stop breathing. Tough times made me put down this horn. One week you got a gig, and the next week nothing. As soon as you're jamming for free, just keep that good sound cooking. Man, you are broke, broke, broke. Yes, sir. I promise not to be a musician. That's not what I mean. 
I had to get a steady job or else rob somebody or uh, rip off the people or hustle some woman. Okay, so I'm a maintenance man, but you may just stay straight and get yourself an education. Yeah, I see. Young people got so much going for them these days. Seem like I ain't got nothing going for me but somebody's mouth. Get off of me, Get off of me! Get off of me! Watch it off of me! Watch it, I said! Get off of me! Coming in at all hours. Coming in with a fresh mouth on top of it. That's what you want to talk about, not musicians or opportunities. You keep it up. You just keep talking. And you ain't gonna have no front teeth left. One more crack out of you, boy, and I'll slap the black off of you. No, you won't. Don't you ever put your hand on him. That's my child. And no man is gonna put his hands on my if child. If the police pick his ass up off the street, you ain't gonna have no child. Get in your room, Angie. Get in there. Now, I say. You are not to touch him. I mean, that's all. Uh -uh. I'm uh -uh. through with it. No, that is not all. Don't be bringing me into that, sweets. Uh -uh. Benjamin Johnson thinks he is 30, but he is only 13 years old. And he's better off learning that from me than from some stranger on the streets. First, it's straightened out Benji. And now it's what some man ain't gonna come in here and do to your child. Well, I do not play that. Rose. But wants to like you, Benji. Let him. Yes, ma'am. Try. He's who I should have met in the first place. And I, I never do anything right the first time around. Except for you. start buzzing teachers. That might be the solution. Chicanos want Chicano teachers, blacks want blacks. What's wrong with that? Why, are you asking me to eliminate myself? Well, you don't want to support us on welfare. Give us the jobs and we'll give y'all the welfare. Gladly, with a smile. What are you eating? Well, I usually eat black bread, black bean soup, black everything. But today, in your honor, I'm having a tuna fish sandwich on white bread. Look, I know I'm whitey. But even with all the pill popping, with all the uppers, and with all the downers, if I do so much as call a kid a junkie, I have to fight the PTA. I have to fight the principal. I have to fight you. Both you and the principal should get out. Let the school be wall-to-wall -wall blackness. Ah. Segregation in reverse. Huh? Oh. Huh? <laughs> if it happens to you, it's in reverse, right? No, segregation is segregation. Ain't no reverse. <laughs> You're a Jew, Cohen. Didn't World War II teach you anything? Hmm? 
on my head. Without a synagogue, without a faith, I am a Jew. Yes, that's right. Living in the unseen ghetto of every hostile mind. Now, I am here to teach the... The Schwatz. Well, that's your word, isn't it? Schwatzer, the black one. So you just don't want me to call myself black. Your hair is almost as nappy as mine. Now, where do you think that come from, huh? It comes from... King Solomon mixing with the Queen of Sheba, a Schwarzer. That's where it comes from. How did you ever make it through a white university? <laughs> well, easy. I just remembered the big white lie that they taught me, so that I could someday come back to my own and darkly light the way to truth. Truth. The truth is that there's a drug situation <clears throat> in this school. Mm. But everybody plays it real safe. Nobody wants to say anything. Meanwhile, you are creating an atmosphere which breeds hostility. <laughs> now, your nationalism oh. is nothing. It's slogans. Slogan. There would be hostility in this school if I had never been born, and you know it. Go sit down. Sit down. Look, I turn out readers and writers. You preach the uh, glories of Africa. Yeah? Clean up your local drug situation by yourself. Huh? Oh. Oh, because none of your children go here to this school where you make your living, where you teach. It becomes all of a sudden my local drug problem, huh? Well, thanks a lot, buddy. You know? You're a real pain in the ass. I'm wise. You know, I have Benji, and I have my mother. Sweet. I came down here today to ask about you and me. I mean, is everything all right between us? Yes. I love you, Papa. No matter what happens, just, just know that. And what are we going to do about it, us? You mean lawyers, courts, papers, and... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just not ready for that. Things ought to just stop and, and stand still for a little bit. But they never do, darling. Nothing never, ever does. Yeah. Get your hands out of my pocket, boy. You know what these are? Cufflinks. Uh-huh. Mismatch. <laughs> yeah, but they mismatched on purpose, fool. See that one? Yeah. That is a sapphire, genuine. And the other one is a diamond. One and a half carats, set in 14 karat gold. That's right, with 13 diamond chips on each one. My uncle, who raised me, he had it made to order special. <laughs> Some do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to have somebody leave you something, you know. An heirloom. What happened to him? Oh, the same thing that happens to everybody. He lived for a time on this planet, and then he, he died. Hey, Benji, look at me. What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. All right! Get down! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Mm. Mm. Mama! Mm. Shake. <laughs> but don't abuse me. Well, thank you. Because Daddy's got to use it. Take care of Mama. <laughs> Yeah. We should all be going. Oh, no, you don't. You've had enough of us. Mm hmm. Mm. Going dining and dancing, that's class. Well, thank you, Mrs. Ransom Bell. 
And I'm so glad. Trouble don't always last. Oh, you always sing it wrong. Uh, that uh, hymn goes, I'm so glad. Trouble don't uh, last uh, always. That's it's over. right. I think I finally oh, got perfume it. smells so good. Well, thank you, Mama. Mama, you look fine. Thank you, my son. They sure gonna have a good time. Mm -hmm. Benji, what is old? I don't know. Well, you aren't there yet. Old is ailing. Maybe it's one part of your mind going one way while you go another. <laughs> well, one part of being old ain't got nothing to do with aches and pains. Thoughts can hurt more than real pain. Yes, ma'am. Thoughts don't hang together so I can sort them out. That's what mixes me up. My best friends are all dead and gone now. <laughs> Big Bad Ben, my man, gonna style a while. Small main line saves money, which you call economics. Make a little go a long way. Let me see something. Whew, got good veins, too. Look at that. Some take it in the groin. It's a good vein there, too, you know. My arm's all right. <laughs> you don't track up your arm like a road map. And deals in hard cash. My mother didn't raise no chickens. <laughs> See there, Carwell? If you're gonna be somebody, be it. Man needs money, so he gets money. Just remember one thing. City to city, town to town, and block to block, there's always somebody who can get you what you want, if you got the money. Treat me right. I treat you right. Y'all have a taste on me. I don't shoot the shit myself. That's not me. Big Bad Ben, Style King. Knows how to style, too. I ain't hoped you understand. Oh, I understand? Yeah, definitely. But there are a lot of brothers who are. You can ease the pain just a little bit, just dropping it to them every now and then. Make yourself some bread, too. Nah, I ain't a drop man. I'm just me. Yep, just you. Big Bad Ben. One and only style king. Well, they didn't raise no chickens. <laughs> Benji. Benji, wake up. Huh? Get off me. What did you do with your grandmother's money? Money? Get off me. Get off me, man. Lay off. All right, explain me this. I didn't take it. It's late. I did. Oh. It's late. Quite in the winter tomorrow. I ain't uh. took no money. Why? He's in a damn junk bag, that's why. We got us a 13-year-old junkie. I ain't no junkie. Stop lying on me. Don't say that, Butler. You don't know that it's true. I never believed that. No, so it's a lie. Talk to Benji. Talk to Benji. What well, damn it, I'm doing it. You know, being strung out wasn't invented yesterday. I, I tried to be a father to you. I got me a father. Where is he? In that picture there. Don't need no more father than what I got. When I get hold of some money, I'm going to give Grandma 30 times what she lost. 30 times. What's lost is not money, Benji. It's pride. Pride. And you don't have enough for yourself, let alone any to give away. You, too, can have peace of mind. 
Enemies overcome while you wait. Visit Madam Snowson, reader and advisor. Evil spells removed after one visit. Don't laugh. Some of these people got a gift. Yesterday, I went to see Madam Snowson. It cost me 10 cash dollars. Go in one candle for Benji, and one for you and Butler. Also, some Egyptian incense. And instructions for the indigo blue bath. Double strength. I don't think that Butler would like that too much. Mama, I do not believe in that foolishness. Well, honey, when push comes to shove, you to try anything. And I'm still praying. No, no getting high on credit, man. Stuff's short and streaky, you know. <laughs> Stuff's high, but it's never short, Gawa. Ben, leave it alone, man. This guy will blow your health. I don't shoot or sniff. Give you sores, eats the lining out of your nose. And it also constipates. Carwell, why don't you leave me some bread? Carwell stayed broke taking care of his own habit. Feeling sorry for people ain't good business, man. Studs wear me out for a fix, then go somewhere else when they flush. No, no getting high on credit. Not even the good friends like you. This is no jive prayer. Send, send somebody who, who believes in me. Somebody who will be digging me the most. If, if you dare, God, show me, like people say, a sign. Bring lightning. In the world, do something. God, somewhere else. Mismatch on purpose. One's diamond, the other's sapphire. Fourteen karat gold. Also diamond chips. <laughs> chips ain't shit. May as well be rhinestones. You know what this is? What? Solid gold. Fix him, Carwell. When? 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 When I get five or ten dollars. Can I buy back the cufflinks? <laughs> now, I'm a pawn shop, right? Listen, how'd you like to run some errands for me? I pick up the cash, you make the drops. You do it on shares. I'll do anything you want. Good, good. Take some of the weight off Big Mouth Carwell over here. I don't talk. Come on, Carwell. I gotta buy back those cufflinks. With your first spare ten bucks, right? Yeah. Don't worry. You're going to soon feel good. On the ball! Double dribble, double dribble. Thank <laughs> you. 
Americans that as miserable, wretched, degraded, and abject as you have made us in proceeding and in this Now things now. Come on, come on. Looks like Miss Smart ass then OD. <laughs> Shut your goddamn face. Doctor's not finishing the police forms. Mrs. Johnson, Dr. Paul Evans. Hello, Benji. What will you do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is take some blood and urine samples, see how much toxic stuff he's got in him. Then we're going to give him some medication, bring him around nice and clean. And after that, we'll just wait and see, OK? Sorry, no visitors. I'm afraid that includes family. Can I call you? Sure, if you think it's necessary. OK, Ben, this is Charles. He's going to show you to your ward. Any <coughs> questions you ask him? <coughs> Stand on your own two feet. Now you get up. Now you say goodbye to your mother.
Johnson. Who's we know that, Benny. Johnson, Johnson. What does that mean, Benny? It means it's me, that's all. No, it me means you're in a Benji? detox trying to kick a Jones. What else is happening? You mean kick brother? a Jones? I ain't. You ain't what? You ain't what? You ain't what? It's no Jones to kick. Benji's hooked. Don't you know that? Benji's hooked. I ain't hooked. Even the tiger told me I was hooked. Tiger told you what? Tiger told you what? Tiger told me I wasn't hooked. What is this place about, Ben? I don't even need to be here. Oh, come on, come on. What is this place about, Ben? terrible, Ben. She's such a real bad. Just grown-ups go ahead. What is it about, Benji? You see, ain't nobody here my age. Oh, come on. They just stuck me in the middle of the What did I tell you? Do you use dope? How does it feel not to know, Ben? Do you use dope? Everything is all right, right? Everything is cool, isn't it? No. You know, what are you doing yeah. here, man? You know, and why is it so hard for you to admit what's going on? You know, why is it so hard for you to admit that you're why. Junkie? Exactly true. Why is it so hard Ain't to admit that you got something to deal with, man, that you need to deal with? Now, come on, talk to us. No bullshit. We've all been age 13. We're all dope fiends. For you to try and write a bunch of shit on us, man, is stupid. Yeah, How's it feel, Benji? Every right time you stick that phone. needle in your arm, what do you feel like? You feel like a man? He feels like he's running. You feel like a man, Benji? Is that what it he's does to you? He's got good reason you're to run, doesn't cool, right? you, Benji? Hell's up, punk! Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Hey, come on, come on, come on. What you tell us? Hey, what you What you, you running from so hard, Benji? If you don't face it, brother, ain't nothing gonna change you for you. You can't run from that hurt, Benji. I felt the kind of pain you're feeling, Benji, and I know that it feels like ain't nobody gonna ever do anything about it. It's yours. I didn't mean to become no dope fiend. It was just one time. Hey, happened? Benji, fact is, brother, you got to talk about it. You gotta open up. All the kind of shit that you run from every time. Got to get that tones down. Got to, got to run from the truth about me, man. You go to school, it's an insult, it's a hurt, it's a pain. It meant something to you, now it's nothing. You go home, it's just a reminder, man, that you ain't got nobody. You know, and then you run the streets and it's nothing. You're a little black proud man, but you know a little black proud man ain't gonna ever have nothing or be nothing. He's just gonna stay black like all the rest of the little proud men. No, no, nobody cares Don't let it hurt inside, little no brother man. That pain you don't have to carry it alone, Benji. Right now, Benji, this is what you've been feeling for a long time. Come you got on, it, Benji. Benji. You got to let it out. The only way you're gonna get over it or try to even deal with it, man, is just to let it out and tell people how you really feel. Benji, another thing you got to look at is you're not the only one who's lost a father. It feel, feels like I'm alone all by myself. You're not, you're not man. Alone. Nope. You got all You're not alone Benji. here, Benji, and you're not alone on But the then why do y'all yell at me? Your father's gone, little brother. Do you know that? You, you got to know that, man, thing. and you got to just let it feel the way it is, man. It hurts. It hurts a whole fucking bunch. You know, please come Where home. are you at? Why, don't, why aren't you here with me? I need you, Dad. I love you. I just need somebody to hug me and hold me and love me, Dad. You got to take a chance that maybe this time you'll get something. What's wrong, Dad? I loved you. You meant the world. I talked about you, Daddy. It's cool, Daddy. Don't you know? I wanted them. I'm so bad. Everybody talks about that. Their, their father and what they're going to do. Just like in school when I was reading my composition. That's why I didn't want to read it. Because every, I'm always talking about my mother, never about my father. How's that make you feel, man? Your own father. He doesn't have any need for you, brother. You love him. You want him. You need can't. to be held by him. I don't want to face it. You got to face it, Benji. I'm nope. a junkie, too, Benji. I've been through the same thing. You don't, don't have to go through more. the whole life history of being a, a low-down, sleazy, <laughs> gut rut, dope thing like you did. You're young, Benji. You got a chance so in life, do. Benji.
What's happening? Nothing? Yeah. Me too. Well, my father said y'all be sure to come to Carwell's funeral. Car Carwell's funeral? It's just like a community protest. Somebody give him a hot shot. I'll carry your games. Nah, it's all right. Uh, Benji is very happy to see you, but please come back another time, will you? Welcome home. Hello, Benji. Have some fruit. You good child. Best in the world. See what me and Butler did. What your mother has to say, but she thinks that I'd do it better. She wants you to pledge to uh, for yes, now. Yes, sir. I promise never to take drugs again. And I report my twice a week to the rehab center. Okay? You also have to obey a few rules. Like what? Go nowhere without asking. No more cutting classes and be inside this house before dark. Man, I'm tired of lying. I can't pledge all of that. But I promise not to cut classes. That's a start. Are you the boy's father? I'm who he's got for a father. I'll put down stepfather. Please sit down. Yeah, that'll do. Benji will wrap twice a week, and uh, you'll also be seeing a therapist. This is uh, your address, sir. You come from a pretty historic neighborhood. A lot of famous sports people. Boxers, basketball, football players, all heroes. What are you thinking? Come on, level with me. Nothing. It's impossible to think nothing. 
thinking you won't move to my block so your son can become a famous athlete. I like you. Do you believe that? Answer. No. Why? Because white folks don't want me near them or their school. They don't like me. How do you know that? See it on TV, read it in the newspaper. Would you rather have a black counselor? I don't know. Why don't you know? Some of them be saying, you don't have no pride in your race. You know, things like that. Yeah. Well, um, why don't you just start with this young lady? You can always change your mind. Right. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Mr. Craig, you know, you gotta talk to Benji about life. Yeah, we'll do more of that. Would you mind uh, waiting outside? No, no, let him stay. Okay. Benji's to be praised. Yeah, well, praise is in order. And knocked with no hard feelings when uh, when knocking is needed. You uh, agree with your stepfather? Yes, ma'am. What do you like most about Mr. Craig? How he walks and talks like he's not to be messed with. And uh, what do you dig the least? Say it. Looking like he's about to knock me down. Have I ever hit you? No. Hey, rehabilitation takes patience. It's hard work. You need to be honest and truthful with each other. Well, yeah, there been no more jive. Just honest and truthful from now on. Yeah, honest. <laughs> This is what people wear nowadays. <clears throat> well, he, he did what he promised. I mean, he, he bought a suit. Of course, you can't wear that to school. And not in church. Cars won't have any trouble with him on a dark road either. He's easy to see. <laughs> <laughs> now, that there, there's a suit. And uh, <laughs> this is a family. Uh, come here, Benjamin. That's right, an honest family. Sit down. Mm. Well, that's a good fit. Mm hmm. Well, we, we all here at the same time. Yes, ma'am. We sure. Grandma, mm -hmm. why don't you tell her about when you used to be a classic dancer? I never was a classic dancer. No? You were? When I met your grandfather, I was working in a, what is called a after-hour place. Oh, come on, Mom. Really? You know that's not true. Ah. Classic dancers, a polite lie. I was a shake dancer. What Grandma. kind of family is this I'm getting into? Well, now, stop. You know, sometimes you just talk to me. Shake dancer. That's what it was. I can hear the music now. Mrs. Bell, why don't you do your dance with Benji? Oh, come on, Butler. Now, what are you trying <laughs> well, to start? Oh, come on. I mean, you still remember how to shake, don't you? And where is the boys going to see something like now, that? Mom, I mean, it's affording his education. He just wants come to on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Grandma, please. You still remember how to shake, don't you? Grandma, come on. Don't. It's better you just learn to make fun of All right. Now, it being understood that this is my absolute farewell appearance. All right. I wore silk and lace underwear. Woo! -hoo. All right, Butler. Yeah? One, two, and three, and...
and a bottle of indigo blue to bathe in. You telling me not to tell. But, Rosa, that was then. We being honest now. You are talking about a Christian house and you getting into candles and, and voodoo and blue baths? You know you ain't nothing but a spoon stirrer and a first-class troublemaker. Oh, you are fussing about nothing. I'm gone. That's a bunch of ignorance, ain't it? Drama. I know you believed in voodoo. Shut up! Father can run, Butler can too. Mama goes and closes the door. I have to stay and try to hold up the roof. You're looking for somebody to blame. Well, just get off of me. Now, I said, I mean, the social worker said we're supposed to honestly talk and discuss, not lose your temper, woman. My name is not woman. It is not Craig either, by the way. It is still Johnson. You know, I should walk. I should just pack my bags and go on about my business and leave you all to make it the best way you know how. You're looking for somebody. Well, then find somebody. But just to get off of me. Get the hell off of my back! I think she's gonna leave. Well, she's been through a lot, Benji. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, listen, you just stay clean and report to follow up, or I will have to knock you down. I can't. As long as somebody believes in me. Mm. It don't work that way, Benji. You have to do it if nobody believes in you. If all others fall by the wayside, me, your mama, your mm -hmm. grandma, the government, everybody. You got to do it on your own, by yourself. Mm -hmm. I tell you, out here on the edge of ugly, you got no place else to go. They don't want you on the job. No. They sure don't want you on welfare. You know, I remember once back home, there was this old cracker. They just decided to use me as a target. I mean, every time I went by that sucker, he'd stick out his foot to trip me up, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'd give his buddies their jollies. So all the soul sisters and brothers said, well, take him to the NAA, take him to court. Well, I didn't do either one. Me and my uncle, he was some cat. We caught that trip it up bastard one night, and we beat the, well, the beat Jesus out of him. I said, let him take it to court. Mm -hmm. I tell you, man, I don't, uh, I don't bother hardly nobody. But I am kind of directing my ways. Hmm. Bet you you could be anything, anybody that stood in your way. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wish it worked that way. Because I've been in this world for a long time. What I need is more of this to go with that. That's what I need to learn. Among other things. Hey, look at mine. Well, you're getting there. A little bit longer, yeah. Uh, come out to see us, huh? <laughs> I 
by the rivers of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Yes, Lord. Carwell Martin, a native of this city, mm -hmm. is now dead my, my, my. at age 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was raised in an orphanage, yes. two reform schools, mm -hmm. and lived for a while in a foster home. Unable to recognize his own importance, he became lost in search of something now called a piece of the action. Mm -hmm. He saw the top dogs, the big brass, and too many of us grabbing, snatching, clawing, yes, and even killing for a share. I say it every day, hmm? about every day. There is now a way of killing us off without ever firing a gun. You see, we have been taught to destroy ourselves and pay for the privilege, don't you know? Our children have become their own executioners and ours. Brothers, sisters, we're too quiet. We're too quiet! Carwell Morton mm -hmm. is survived by a loving foster parent, Mrs. Gloriana Whitford, by uh, various juvenile institutions, and by millions of fellow citizens who knew him not. As one of the moneyless sons of Nat Turner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poor as a Rastafarian mm -hmm. against a sick and corrupt society. Yeah owning nothing of value mm. except the breath in my body. Mm -hmm. yes. I now promise mm. that breath, mm. my Amen. every word in his memory, mm. Amen. every word I speak, so. every breath I take mm. is in this child's memory. Child, you, I will never forget you. Mm. you. Never. Well. Every fight I wage mm. is for you. Amen. Freedom. Never happened. Yeah, I know what you mean, don't you? Mm. No. Sad. I'm sad, man. So it'll make you look forward to dying. No. Don't. All those things they do to you. Suits. Flowers. Songs. Sermons. It's a bad scene. Yeah. I hear you. Benji! Wait up! Benji! Benji! Folks dying, they ought to fade away. Sometimes I wish there was some other place to go, besides home, parents. You ring a bell, somebody open the door, say, come on in. And asking no questions. Call up your house and say, don't worry, don't fret. He's here with us. See so y'all roll on over and go on back to sleep. They'd say, come on in. What can I do for you? I'd say, nobody did me no big wrong. But I got to get a divorce from my parents, my neighborhood, my school, so I can think or not think for two, three weeks. Maybe, maybe that's the place where Carl will hanging out now. Think so? Heavy, man. Heavy.
did you read, Ben? Ben, you didn't we go to a funeral today? A boy, younger than you, died. Benji, you, you're driving me out of my mind. Where you been? I had some business. Some business to tend to. Business? What the hell kind of business? You're a child. A 13-year-old child. Man, ain't no more way to be a child. It's, it's, it's rough out there. I mean, you gonna be holding my hand? Take, taking me wherever I, where, wherever I gotta go? No. You, you, got, you got your own thing to do, right? Yeah, yeah, like go to work. Benji, we are telling you that you got to live right instead of wrong. Ain't you ever done anything wrong? Spade ain't married to you no kind of ways and you bringing him cold brews. It's drinking mash and talking trash like he president of the USA. How about you, Uncle Butler? You, you're supposed to be a maintenance man. It's a jive-ass name for a janitor. You can't even get a chance to blow off your shiny horn. And in your spare time, you shacking up in my mama's bed. Heroes. Man, we living in a time where a hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. Just give it up, Jack. You and sweets. Just cool it off. I've got to go, because if I stay here, I will kill your son. I will kill him. Benji's father was. I'd ship him off on a one way ticket. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. nation is on the nod. We're going to have some cocoa, and then I'm going to tell you all about the old times. Don't blame your mama for that blue band. I went to a spiritual advisor, and that's what she recommended. I, I stand. Uh, did you have fun in the hospital? Some. Like what? Learned to play chess. Had ice cream. We got two kinds of ice cream in the box. Once I... I won a Sunday school prize for reciting Bible verse. Much better than dancing. What you thinking? Penny for your thoughts. How... How come I got plain bed spread? And... And bunnies on my curtains. I ain't a child. 
Besides, I like playing the best. With bunnies was three for a dollar. And playing cost 75 cents a yard. You crying? Since I've been to the hospital, my, my eyes water. They'll be back soon. Time of day. Did you report to rehab today? Benji! Did you report to rehab today? Yes, he went. It's, it's over on. No, he didn't. Benji. No, he did not. I. I had some some business to see after. Uh, but. But I didn't take any drugs. I, I'm clean, man. I'm clean. More than once, you made your mother cry. Your grandmother can't walk down the street at high noon on account of the likes of you. You've stolen money from her. You've stolen from me. You're trying to separate me from the woman that I love. We're all doing everything we know how to do. So now, you little lying, no good bastard, I'm gonna take the rest of the afternoon off and give you a beating. I mean, an no. ass women you will never, ever forget. Damn it! 
on. I just let me die. No, I don't. I don't want you dead, Benji. If I lose you, I. <laughs> come on now, climb, climb, Benji. Come on now. Damn it, climb. Stop. Come on, come on. I got you. <laughs> Be sure to report to rehab tomorrow. All right? You... 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 You're gonna be there, too? All right. I'll take off for work early. One more time. You, you know, Butler? You ain't the worst person in the world. Maybe I am. Thank you. Drop me. Drop me. Let me be dead. Drop me. Let me be dead. Got to be alone sometime. Looks like he's not coming. Well, Benji likes to look in store windows, you know. Kids stall looking in windows. Yeah. I got off work early. I could be at home thinking I'd go there first. Oh, yeah. Why don't you use the phone? I'll use the one in the hall. We can set up another... I've been down here for two hours, please. Okay. Groceries. You want to do it? Man, three, four dollars ain't nothing. Straighten up, Benji. Man, why don't you just keep that jive ass advice? You made it in basketball, now you hitting on a drum. That make you a social worker? You a chicken hearted, chicken shit phony. Look, man, smoking something I did to pass a little time. Now I ain't got much time to be passing. Out there is badass. We need to keep our wits woke. When you were smoking, I was there. Now you gone. Sometime and pay to back down. Hey, if I want to shoot up, I shoot up. If I stop, I stop. OK, all right. Fly high. But you're going to come down low, using your veins for a horse racing track. Junk will knock you down. Yeah, loose dust traps. Tell me your mother's like a doorknob. Every man gets his turn on her. He doesn't 
guy. Needle. Needle. Fuck you, Jimmy Lee Green. No more, brother. We close. Look, you child. have to do it with the child in person, man. The child must be present. Don't be pulling on me. Don't you do that. The, the counselor said that uh, Benji needs to identify with hero figures. So, and give me this list of uh, books about uh, black history, movie stars, and baseball players. And... Oh, Mr. Craig, you see, we can't make an appointment without the child. Look, brother, this is not the way to get things done. Your daddy's shoes were never under my mama's bed, so don't call me brother. God damn it. Heroes. Damn, take me. Some of these celebrity, big time high lifers, I mean, they can't take care of themselves. They ain't worse shape than Benji. He's better off trying to learn to identify with me, who's got to get up every day and face the world. Benji say a, a hero ain't nothing but a sandwich, and y'all say a hero is a celebrity? Well, listen to my credentials and see if I qualify for one of them hero buttons. I'm supporting two adults and one child and the United States government on my paycheck, and I can't claim none of them for a tax deduction. So don't explain me nothing about no heroes. I mean, some of your neighborhood success stories are making a fine living off of Benji's veins. Uh, if he doesn't show, we uh, simply start over again. That's all. Uh, we don't want to start over. We just want to keep going. I'll stay a while longer. Yes, me. What's happening? Hmm. Yeah. Hello. What's happening? I'm waiting for my son. Didn't know you had one. I could go down to the corner, but he might think I left. Uh, you still playing bass? Son, getting straight, you know? I think across the street gives a better view of the corners, you know? See you, Butler. Butler! 